Welcome, Ukraine War Update today. Ukrainian attacks on Crimea would be met with retaliation strikes, with no negotiations to end the conflict, which will hit its first year anniversary later this month, former Russian President Dmitry Medvedev said, who currently serves as the deputy chairman of the Security Council of Russia, in an interview with a Russian journalist published a telegram. A key ally to Russian President Vladimir Putin suggested Moscow could turn to nuclear deterrence if Ukraine tries to retake control of Crimea. His remarks come as Russia struggles to achieve substantial military victories in Ukraine, despite the large size of its military. When Putin launched the invasion on February 24, 2022, he aimed for a quick win, but Ukraine's stronger-than-expected defense effort, bolstered by Western military aid, blunted the Kremlin's military gains, allowing Kiev to retake thousands of square miles in formerly occupied territory last fall. Now, Ukrainian victories are fueling optimism that its military could retake Crimea, a region Russia illegally annexed in 2014. Just days prior to Medvedev's remarks, a Ukrainian official said Kiev is preparing assault brigades to take back occupied territories including Crimea. Meanwhile, the New York Times reported in January that the Biden administration is becoming more willing to acknowledge Ukraine may need to strike the Black Sea Peninsula. Amid these indications that Crimea could become a site of combat, Medvedev, interviewed by journalist Nadana Friedrichson, warned that Ukraine launching strikes to reclaim the land would have devastating consequences. There will be no negotiations in this case, there will only be retaliation strikes, he said. The whole of Ukraine, which remained under the rule of Kiev, will burn. Medvedev continued that Russia's response to strikes on Crimea could be anything, and that Moscow has not set any restrictions. He added that the Kremlin is prepared to deploy all types of weapons, including nuclear, depending on the nature of the threat, pointing to the government's official policy regarding nuclear deterrence. In accordance with our doctrinal documents, including the fundamentals of nuclear deterrence, I can assure you that the answer will be quick, tough and convincing," Medvedev said. Ukraine and Russia view Crimea as rightfully part of their own territory. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has pledged to oust Russian troops from all of Ukrainian territory, including Crimea, as a condition to end the war. However, Russian officials have said they would not accept any peace deal in which Kyiv restores its control over the region. Major General Kirill Obudinov, chief of the defense intelligence of Ukraine, said in an interview last week that Ukraine is aiming to retake Crimea by late summer. Crimea carries strategic importance, as it is home to the key port city of Sevastopol, located on the Black Sea. Meanwhile, Moscow has also used Crimea to launch attacks into Ukraine amid their war. Russia's defense ministry accused Ukraine of preparing to blow up buildings in the eastern Ukrainian city of Kramatorsk and then accused Moscow of carrying out war crimes and targeting civilians in a false flag operation. The defense ministry provided no evidence for the claims, which it outlined in a post shared on social media on Sunday, saying that the alleged attacks would be used by Kyiv to push for Western governments to increase weapons supplies to the country. A Russian missile killed at least three when it struck a residential building in the city of Kramatorsk on Thursday, police in Ukraine said. Russia has not publicly commented on that strike. Moscow has denied targeting civilians throughout what it calls a special military operation in Ukraine. Kiev and Western governments say hundreds of civilians have been killed in Russian missile strikes on residential sites across Ukraine since Moscow's forces invaded last February.